Last week, over a million gallons of untreated sewage spilled into our ocean, closing Goleta Beach. I'm Juliette Lamar, your community reporter in Goleta, following up on the cleanup efforts at the beach and the impacts to our environment. The one million gallon sewage spill responsible for the closure of Goleta Beach is the largest since 2013. By a magnitude of 100 times. According to Channel Keeper's executive director, Ted Morton, the 2013 spill was only 9,000 gallons. And with a spill of that size, there can be negative effects on wildlife in the Goleta Slough. It has a big impact on the smaller critters, like the invertebrates. Um, and of course, they're at the bottom of the food chain. According to the Goleta West Sanitary District, the spill started on February 13th, but public health didn't close the beach until six days later. Local sports fisherman Richard Peters says beachgoers had no idea the water was unsafe. Uh, last week, I was down here seeing females out there swimming with their dogs. Santa Barbara County Public Health Department Environmental Services Director Lars Seyfret says the closure delay was due to an incorrect estimate of spillage and that his department didn't know the full extent of the spill until six days later. That's why we jumped on it, made sure that the beach was closed. If you come in contact with contaminated water, be sure to wash exposed areas with soapy water and contact your health care provider immediately if you experience gastrointestinal symptoms or have a fever. As far as when the beach will reopen. We are out here sampling, making sure that the water is safe for people before we open this beach again. In Goleta, Juliette Lamar, KSBY News.